man, I had a crazy, crazy morning of just rut chaos. Good job, brother. Look at the box. Right. All I wanted to know is, how did your phone call with your dad? That's all I wanted to know. It was even better than the phone call. activity's been looking pretty good here lately the past few days been seeing a lot of these mature deer on their feet which we hadn't been seeing been seeing a lot of chasing for the past two or three weeks but it's mainly been your younger bucks middle-aged bucks that sort of thing but the past couple of days i've seen more normal mature deer on their feet so that's definitely good we're dealing with a little bit cooler weather now we had a quick little temperature rise, I guess you'd call it last week, kind of shut them down a little bit, but this cold snap's got them back on their feet and looking good. Realtree Road Trips is brought to you by Onex Hunt, Scent Thief, Bushnell, First Products, Baku Bikes, and Hoist. We're back at them. It's uh, 3 o'clock, November 14th. And uh, man, I had a crazy, crazy morning of just rut chaos. I left my bow and everything up in here, but I'm self-filming with a bow and in my opinion what's going on here in this part of the country where we're hunting right now is the very beginning of the peak of the rut. I um, had a pretty nice three-year-old I think come by uh, early just kind of cruising through there and then 
later on in the morning when all that activity picked up. There was a deer that he's a, I call him highbrow. He was about 120 yards and he was kind of, kind of parallel to me. And so I grunted and uh, I mean, he came in on a string right at me. But it, it, I'm facing this way. He was back here behind me. And so he got about 40 yards and, and I got the camera on him, but trying to get the bow and get everything situated was kind of tough. I was hoping he'd close the distance a little bit more. He never did. And then, I don't know, maybe an hour or so later, a different uh, buck that I call the G2 kicker buck, same deal. He's kind of cruising by himself. 150 yards probably grunt, and sure enough, here he comes on a beeline. He got to about 70 yards behind some stuff, and he got distracted by some other deer. He must have saw that run and chase, and he took off the other way, so I sat until about 11.30, got down, went and got me something to eat, got a shower, and now we're back at it. I don't know, we'll see, hopefully, hopefully one of those bucks will break off from the the main group and uh can give us a give us a chance well we just got in the stand it's overcast a little windy some rain coming in tomorrow so this wind's just pushing this front in but it feels kind of dairy and that's a good thing we're the same scenario as yesterday we're just gonna sit up here and wait and hopefully he comes out before dark there's two different deer in here we're after. One of them's kind of a funky deer. He's got five on one side and just a bunch of crazy stuff on the other. The other one we call the bladed eight. He's just a big, mature eight-pointer It needs to go. And there's no telling what might roll in being the rut. They're full bore right now, so there's no telling what could show up. Hopefully we end up bending a bowstring. You never know. Buck didn't want nothing to do with it. He stood there for the longest time, just kind of looking back this way. He was right behind a tree. But I think he was looking. There were some other deer up the hill. I think that had his attention. He kind of started working that way. Big old looking mature joker too. Man, you gotta have your head on a swivel right now. Real Tree Road Trips is brought to you by Federal. Hoyt, Primal Outdoors, Monster Mill, Redneck Blinds, and Team Real Tree Sausage.
side is pretty open, so this is just like a natural funnel from this creek to these big pines up to a bunch of food plots. It's just a natural low spot that they like to travel, so there's a little bit of security in here. So me and Hunter came in here and moved the stand midday. We're going to find out hopefully it won't rain too hard. shot to the south of us. Just got word that Tyler killed a deer that we call Crabby. He's a freaking awesome deer. Uh, only bad part is he didn't have a camera guy. I think Tyler just kind of went and sat. Not really expecting to see him because that deer has basically been nocturnal. I mean, he's been I think he's been daylight on that spot twice all year. I think Tyler just kind of went in there halfway thinking he wasn't going to see him, but I guess he walked out. <laughs> and he couldn't. He had to shoot him. So, unfortunately not going to have the, the kill shot on video, but we'll do a cool recovery. But you'll just have to picture it in your head. <laughs> I'm pumped. That's awesome. My man. Good evening, guys. <laughs> Sounds like you had a good night. I did. And uh, so I did not have anybody film me tonight. And honestly, man, I just kind of wanted to go out there tonight. Didn't know what to expect. I hunted this spot last night. JJ was filming. And, um, you know, I was kind of running a little bit late. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go sit out here. Just go and whatever happens, be by happens. Be by yourself. This deer has daylighted twice in here all year, at yeah. least on camera. Doesn't yeah. mean he hasn't been in the spoo plot. Mm -hmm. Um, so I was like, what are the odds, you know, something happens, but to be honest, it was, it was pretty incredible. <laughs> was it? Yeah. Deer chasing. How many deer did you see? I probably saw about 11 or 12. Yeah. And they're just chasing. Four bucks and then two mature bucks, including him. And, um, and he grunted a, a doe all the way to the end of where I was sitting and, uh, the doe took off and I had to scream at him three times. Really? Finally got him to stop. But, uh, I, I'll be honest, like that may be, I was thinking about it tonight. That's probably the second buck I've ever shot off camera. Oh, that's a dang six-year-old giant. He looks like, I feel like he's he at least even, that. He didn't hardly go off the food plot. No. I mean, literally the food plot's right down there. No, I know. Pretty cool. I mean, just look at the neck. Oh, oh, man. Yeah, you, you put a good shot on him. Like that, I mean, obviously that left side is, you know, what it is, but that right side is just kind of really cool looking on camera. You just can't mistake that deer whenever you first see him. Well, November 15th was a good day. I expect that the rut chasing craziness will hopefully continue for the next few days. I know it's supposed to get kind of warm tomorrow and then it's going to cool back off. So I would expect until probably Thanksgiving or so in Georgia, the rut will be pretty crazy. So. Um, it's been a good week overall. Pitt saw a few deer. I saw a few deer. Tyler killed the deer. So uh, appreciate y'all watching this video and uh, y'all stick with us. We got more hunts coming down the line.
Realtree Road Trips is brought to you by Spartan, Arctic Shield, Backwoods Attraction, Chevy, Franke, Realtree, and Big Rack Spirits.